family in anguish after the death of a young woman from a boating mishap in Boston Harbor. Tonight, that family is wondering out loud what happened, seeking answers as to why their loved one was the only person on board to perish. WBZ's Tiffany Chan spoke to the family. She joins us live now from Boston Harbor. Yeah, can the victim's tearful father telling me 27 year old Janika Jules was a vibrant young woman who was also a dance teacher. She's also studying finance at UMass Boston. Now, her family is grieving and they want answers as to what happened on that boat Saturday morning. Uh, it is tough. As a father, it is tough on me. You can hear the pain in this father's voice. Boston police identified his daughter, 27 year old Janika Jules, as the woman killed after a horrific boat crash in Boston Harbor. Her closest friends say they saw her just hours before she got on that boat. They just decided to um, meet up with their other friend who has the boat, you know, and just, you know, enjoy themselves. Police are investigating after eight people ended up in the water when their boat crashed into a Day marker buoy at around 3 a.m. Saturday. While the seven other survived dive teams pulled Jules's body from the water after a 13 hour search. Obviously, it hurts that seven people were rescued and she wasn't. Um, so that just obviously, as it's why, it's even harder when, you know, she was the only one that didn't make it. The 27 year old is being described as a vibrant and outgoing person who loved to dance. She wanted to open a studio um, to give back to the community. And unfortunately, I'm very. I'm very emotional. Heartbroken that her life was cut so abruptly, Jules' family is now demanding justice. I do not think it was intentional, but Janika's life was taken from this. When you drive a car, you need to be responsible for the other people in the car. I don't know if the guy drunk because I, I don't want to speculate. I don't know what's going on, but. Definitely a hard time for that family. They did set up a GoFundMe page for the victim's funeral expenses. Right now, Boston police are investigating this accident to determine whether charges should be filed. From South Boston, I'm Tiffany Chan for WBZ News.